Welcome back, future entrepreneurs, to the two-part series of my online How I Get Paid for My Social Media Audits. If you're watching this video, then you've probably seen the first video, which talks about the predator missile strategy and how I convince potential clients to give me the chance to give them a audit for about $250 to $300, which will go over their social media. This video today is gonna to talk about what I include in that audit and how I make it valuable enough to be worth the price that I give it to. If you haven't seen the predator missile strategy or the first part of the video, you can check out the link right here. And if it's not right there, I will put it in the description box below. Check that out first and then come back here. So this video is gonna be real simple and quick to the point. It's gonna talk about what I include in this, my money making $300 social media audit. You can charge whatever you would like for these audits. I think the best price range is $250 to $300. That is what I found the most success with. Finally found a hat, there we go. So, what do I typically do when I get these audits? Well, the first thing I like to do is I like to make my audits really nice. I spend about $15 per audit. I spend about $10 to get 20 of these little stick things that you can take and you can just put on whatever. There we go. These little stickings that you can put on any booklet it makes it a nice little booklet. I don't like that plastic one they put in front. I think that just having the direct paper looks a lot more clean. On top of that, this paper is made with very nice high quality. It's called U2 Ultra White cardstock. This is about $2 a page and my audits are typically about, you know, eight, 10 pages. If you buy in bulk, you, all right, moral story. These come out to around 15 to 20 bucks an audit. Now, I know what you're gonna say. How am I supposed to be giving out these audits if they cost 20 bucks a piece? The thing here is that when I make this audit, even if I'm giving out audits for free, I am doing this because it is my gamble that this $15 audit is gonna eventually turn into a $2,000 client or more. If you're not willing to take that gamble, that bet, then you're not gonna have to be in this business because this is all about betting and taking the risk. And in my opinion, I like to go all out and spend the time and effort to look professional. And when I go out and look professional and look above the rest, that really kind of ensures the deal to my clients. Now, when I first sit down with the client, I typically go like this. We talk, we ask how his day is going, how this is gonna go. If I haven't made this clear, this audit is actually like a consultation. I don't just hand them the book and walk away. I hand them the book and I say, I spend about an hour and a half to two hours going over it. And this is exactly how I say that. You can write this script down or keep it for you personally. It's worked out very well for me. Hey, I've gone over all of your social medias and I found some good things and I found some things that could use a little improvement. I've taken all of the items that I believe need improvement and I've created them and put them in a custom clever booklet. At this point, they're kind of assuming that this is the booklet we're just going to read and go over and that's about it and they don't get to do anything. But their minds are blown when you say, I've made this booklet and I've put a lot of time and effort into this and I'm going to let you keep it today. And I slide it across the desk, just right to them. This makes them very excited. People love taking something home with them. When I spend money on something, I wanna see that I have it, I can hold it, I can feel it. It encourages me to buy the item. And by them, you could, in theory, just go over your notes on paper and write down and they'll get knowledge. But by having a physical book with them, it, it kind of really sells the deal. So now we have given the client their audit and they're looking over it, probably a little confused. They don't understand what this means. And this is where I typically remove my stick thing. I point it out and I'm saying, look, I want to take the time. I know there's a lot of confusing terms and references in this, and I wouldn't typically do this, but I'd like to take actually, no, I'll take my stick out and I'll kind of use it as a pointer. And I'll say, look, I know there's a lot of things that in words and terminology that are in here that you might not understand. I would like to take the time if you have the availability right now to go over each of these points with you so we can work and constructively build on it together. That means a lot to them. That means you're taking the time on your day to really work with them, really kind of get 
them interested and really kind of get them to bond with you. Take this time to talk about their lives, get to know them, get to build that friendship with them. Remember, the audit is the predator missile of this strategy. We're using it to fund the helicopter. And if we don't get the helicopter, then we can't get the new. So we need to use this time to build as much trust, fun, and relationship with the client as we possibly can. Talk about their kids, talk about their lives, talk about your life, talk about, for me, I was a college dropout student. I talk about my, my journey to getting to this point. I talk about what I do for a living and, and how hard I work. And that resonates with people and then they build with me and they trust me. By removing the wall in front of you that is you're a marketer trying to make money off of them and you've now built a bridge that says, I am your friend and I am trying to help you but you also pay me, you create a lot more success. I like to think about my audits as a funnel. We're gonna start with the, obviously the first page and we're gonna go through the information, we'll get a little bit more to analytics and then we'll get to the close where the package is. The first part of any audit that I have is the social media overview. However many social media channels they have, I will go over it and review each one. In this one, in this one here, we went over their Facebook, their website and their Instagram. Their Website, Facebook, Instagram, no matter what client you have, try to do as much social media as they can so you can really fill up your book more. Remember, you're kind of skimping these people. You're doing something that takes maybe less than an hour and you're getting paid 300 bucks for it. Put a little bit of effort in. You guys, a lot of a lot of people ask how they make these boxes for like circles and stuff. I'm not sure exactly how to do it on Apple software, but what I like to do is if you go on Windows, you can actually go ahead and type in the snipping tool. Use the snipping tool, you can create a screen grab of the screen and then you can draw circles and diagrams on the page, which will be very helpful to you. And the audit will look exactly like, will look kind of like this. What I like to do with my audits is I like to use colors. So if we look here, you'll see that there is a green box up here and a red box. I use the green boxes to say what they're doing good. And I use the red boxes obviously to say what could use improvement. Here is the key point. Do not only fill your audit with red boxes. And not only that, do not only talk in your audit as if they need to do this. Don't ever say your social media sucks, even though it does. Don't ever say that they really need to work on or you don't want to make this feel like this is the roast of your client. They're coming to you for help as a friend. Don't make them feel like you're frowning upon them or you're, you're above them because you're so much smarter as a social media specialist. You can be as smart as you want, but nobody wants to work with an asshole. So I would typically word it like this. Let's look at this guy. This was a personal trainer I worked with and he runs a, uh, uh, he's running a record label, right? So I said here, I said, you have almost 5,000 likes. That's great, you're doing an awesome job. What did you do to earn those 5,000? Remember guys, asking questions during the interview is very important. You wanna have them talk more than you do. Then they'll say whatever, he, I forgot what he said for how he gained that 5,000. But I'll say, that's great. You understand the value of having a large following and you understand that how social media can help you out. You're doing a good job, but I'm here to help you do a great job. You can steal that line if you want. I think it's pretty slick. So after we've gone through, we got their Facebook, their Instagram, I'm gonna pull that one out. We got their websites done, Instagram's out. What I'll typically do next is you want them to make you feel like you didn't just kind of rate their Instagrams. You want them to also feel like you're gonna give them something. So in this case, what I do is I go to several websites. You can go to a bunch of different websites for this. The two that I use is Sprite.com and our Sprout, Sprout.com, my bad, and Keyhole. And what these do is they give you Instagram, Twitter analytics, they give you website generalization. Um, I go to Google AdWords and I see how fast their website's running. I'm gonna put those tools down in the description as well. And I take all of these charts and awesome graphics that the websites give me and I put them in this wonderful page. People love charts, they really do. It makes them feel so good. And you wanna give them charts that helps them out. This was a barber shop that I did his charts for. And for example, he was posting at all of the times. He was posting these spots over here with the, the early 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. And when he found out with these charts that his best posting time was actually at 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. By giving him that information, he was ecstatic. I could have charged him $300 just for that. So 
that was a very helpful thing. Now I know what you're thinking is I don't want to pay $100, $200 a month for these services. I didn't want to either. So instead, what I suggest you do is make an email account, sign up for the website, get a free seven day trial, go ahead, type in the names on there you need, and then copy using the snipping tool I said earlier and put them on a nice wonderful page like I did. It's the free method and it works very well. And when your trial expires, you can just rinse and repeat. Um, and then eventually, if you do land the client, you can pay off the next 10 months of that subscription. So roadmaps, the next page after my charts is my case studies. So a lot of times people are not gonna trust you. This is where I would say, okay, if you don't have any case studies, that's fine. I didn't have any case studies either. I went around and pitched to a lot of businesses and nobody would accept me because I didn't have any past case studies. So what I did was I just made a Facebook page. I actually made an SNES Facebook page just for fun. And I ran $30 worth of Facebook ads to it. And we got around 2000 likes. Um, and I just took a screen grab of the Facebook ads manager and I popped that on there. And I was like, wow, 3000 likes, we did great. Uh, it was only X amount of money. And I went to these realtors, you know, this guy had 200 likes on his page. And I said, hey man, I can give you, you know, 3000 likes and I'm, I'm only charging $500 to run your Facebook ads campaign. Meanwhile, it only cost me $30, but it shows him that it is possible for me to upgrade. I also ran one more ad. So the main takeaway I'd say here is that if you don't have any past case studies, you haven't worked with any businesses, you don't have to. Take out $50 and run a Facebook ad for a personal page. It doesn't have to be a business. It doesn't even have to sell a product. You just wanna show that you can successfully bring traffic from one side of the internet to the other side of the internet. If you can do that, then you can show and sell to them that you can bring their competitors traffic to your um, domain. This next part is very critical because we handed them a lot of information. This package was a little small because I wanted to make this video very quick, but on typically, like I said, my, my I might've said it wrong earlier. My packages, my, my audits actually go for around 20 pages with notes, with critiques, with social media strategies. I maybe will take a picture of a page of someone similar. There was a real estate agent that I did a pitch for and I said, this is what your page looks like and this is what your competition looks like. We need to show, and I wrote on the page, notes of how to get from where he was to where the competition was. And that was great because it kind of laid out a roadmap for him to follow. Speaking of roadmaps, the next page after my charts is, have the battle plan. This is the core of getting to the attack helicopter. Now, this battle plan is fairly simple. I've recently switched to a more streamlined graphic. There we go. I've recently switched to a more streamlined graphic, which makes it kind of easier for people to follow. But my battle plan typically looks like this. It starts with where you're at now and what you're gonna need, like how I was saying earlier. But instead it says, you're gonna need SEO, pay-per-click, Facebook ads. We need to do a funnel from this campaign. Here's how we're gonna run that funnel. Here's the target keywords we're gonna do. We're gonna need to do some audience insights. Blah, 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 blah. Hit them with words. Hit them with a bunch of words. Make it seem like this is a bitch. You don't want them to sit there and be like, oh man, I, I really wanna do you know some Facebook ads and uh, yeah, I could just do this myself and everything. You wanna make this seem like this is really complicated because to them, it might be really complicated. You're gonna, in this one, in this ad itself, it says post three times a day to your Facebook page six days a week. Then run email capture campaign. That, these, just in these few bubbles, this intimidated the client enough to say, I don't wanna deal with this. You want to make them think in their head, instead of you coming up and saying, hey, I, I will do this for you. You want them to come up and say, I don't want, I, I, I thought I just wanted to get the consultation meeting to understand where I needed to go. But now that you've explained this to me, I see that I don't have the time to deal with this. And most of the time they will ask you, can you do this service for me? And that is where you say, of course, sir, I can. Let me get you to my final page, the pricing package. The last page is the end of my funnel is where I will have the pricing packages and I'll break down what they need in the different plans that they have. And I'm not going to release what my official prices are because that's personal to me and what I charge for each service. But if you guys have questions on how much value or what you should do for your own services, feel free to message me. I will review your audit and we can go from there. I hope that helps you guys. Remember to make these audits, it's almost completely free. It doesn't take much time to go through and analyze their social media. That's the first part. 
The second part is the graphs and analytics. We can get these from a couple websites. I'm gonna put their links in the description below. And then the third part talks about how good you were. What is your case study? How have you done this successfully in the past? People don't wanna work with someone that's a newbie, so you better pretend you're not. And the fourth part shows where they need to go, the step-by-step -step guide for what they need to do to get to the next level. This part is the most important because it makes them feel like, dang, I really don't wanna do this. And then your fifth part is your close with your pricing package at the end in a beautiful book. That just about covers it, how I structure my audits and how I've been able to successfully give these consultation social media audits and get paid to do them. On average, they take me about an hour to two hours to walk through the consultation. When I'm getting paid $300, which translates to $150 an hour for something that takes me less than an hour to do and $15 to make, that is a great return on investment. I hope that you guys can launch your own Predator missiles soon and they will help you succeed in landing more clients throughout the rest of your entrepreneurial journey. If you guys found this video helpful, please leave a like at the bottom. It really helps me out. It lets me know what you guys want to see and what you guys need help with. Speaking of that, if you guys need help or you don't understand a certain topic, please, please leave a comment below and tell me what you would like to see in future videos. I'm down to go over any topics that you guys feel like you don't understand, but I can't do that if you don't tell me. So tell me. That's about everything. I don't think I have anything else to really tell you guys. So you know the drill. Keep grinding, keep striving, never sleep, and until then, be easy. Video I've said 250 a couple times. That's your preference. I like the ball out. Can't get enough of this gangsta shit. They'll get a lot of value out of this, and then they'll say, we need to step up to the next perk. Then, we'll go to the attack helicopter. This is gonna give them more value and give us more profit, and then eventually they're gonna say, we wanna take the final step up and go all the way to the tactical nuke. Tactical nuke ready for launch. That's how you get the nuke. That's how you get the predator missile to start the nuke.